Check that yield on the 10-year Treasury because interest rates vary it. Look at it. It's down. It's down. down 2.08%. Yeah. That's a flight to the safety of Treasuries mm -hmm. as you've got trouble around the world and trouble in various parts. 2.08, the 10-year Treasury. David Barnson, come on in, please. It strikes me that as interest rates like on the 10-year Treasury go down, the dividend yield on the stocks that you like gets more and more attractive, right? It's funny it strikes you that way because it really strikes me that way too, my friend. <laughs> well, that is, uh, it, it's absolutely true. Now, I would argue that if the 10-year yield um, w was 3.5%, mm. it wouldn't change the fact on a relative basis that the dividends with growth through time and the upside of these stocks is more attractive. But you're right, on a relative basis, the 10-year being that low, it really highlights, especially for income investors, the opportunity in dividend growth. And just straighten us all out here. You can get very, very well-known companies, I'm thinking of AT&T for a moment, which yield four, five, six percent. AT&T yields over six percent at this moment, I think, and that yield is pretty safe, am I right? Uh, I don't agree with you on AT&T. I agree with you that there's a lot of companies that are, but real quickly on AT&T, they're sitting at about $250 billion of debt when you count pension obligations and leases. Uh, one of the most indebted companies in history. And so we sold AT&T. They're not growing their dividend, and that's what we want as companies growing. But Verizon, I think, is a better example of one that the dividend is very safe and that they will continue growing it. And obviously, you know, we talk all the time, there's a lot of great companies like that. Got it. Now, this may be a bit outside your bailiwick, but I want to talk about Facebook because they're getting into cryptocurrency. And as you know, they've got some big backers. They've got Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, all involved in this move to cryptocurrency on the Facebook two and a half billion person platform. Seems to me like a very smart move. What do you say? Well, you, you're right that they're big companies they've gotten involved in this consortium, but they're putting in $10 million with an M. Okay, Facebook is a $516 billion company. Essentially, they bought a cup of coffee. That's what they really did. Uh, the investment's very small. I, I have no idea where it goes. The, the whole thing is outside, as you said, what we generally do. But in my reading of this, it looks to me like what these companies do. They dabble with things on the side. It certainly doesn't strike me as any needle-moving event. Okay, you shot me down. I thought it was a pretty good deal, and the stock is up three points. But uh, okay, shoot me down, Barnson, if that's what you want to do. Thank you very much. <laughs> mm. David, come back soon, okay? We'll see you again. Okay. Yes, sir.